friends. This is Gloria Parra with a new process video. This time for simple stories using their awesome. Look at this collection. It's called True Colors and I couldn't be more excited to start working with it. I love that this collection is super useful for many things. As always, the chipboards are amazing. I love this viewfinder and this is the photo that I will be highlighting with this viewfinder. And as you already know, Simple Stories has the best chipboard frames out there. So I love those. We have florals in every size. We have beautiful chipboards. I've been using a couple. It's just an awesome collection, friends. If you haven't checked it out yet, I really hope you do because it's amazing. So let's start. I have a super fun layout in mind. So let's start and let's hope it works. So, come with me. Okay, to start my layout, I was super inspired by these papers. I love them and I wanted to use them. So, I went ahead. I'm a pink girl. So, I chose this one. And I decided to cut the strips up and distress them a little. So, this is what I have here. I just cut them a little smaller. They're two inches wide. And I went ahead and cut them at one and a half. Okay, you can use your scissors, you can use any distress tool that you have. I have a very old one from Tim Holtz, so I just went ahead and distressed all my layers. And this is what I, I have. This is a white color by cardstock that I'm using as my background. And now I will adhere the strips, okay? They will go all the way to my border here. But I want to put them askew, you know, like when it's like longer, shorter, and that way I'm going to tuck in some things. So for that, I will use my trusty foam adhesive. This is a one inch, I believe. Yes, one inch foam adhesive. That's optional. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to, but I love my foam. Okay, so we can add some of it here and I will go at here I would go I will go ahead and adhere my my strips and come back and adhere it lightly that way if you have to move it you can still pick it up okay so remember this step is not necessary I just love dimension but it's not necessary Let's try to line it up and sorry if you get to see my head there, but I need to stand up to do this. So you can, it doesn't have to be perfect, one can be a little more to the left, to the right. This is not perfect. So now we have the last one. There we go. So we now have everything adhered and we can go ahead and cut our little strips there. Okay, here I used my paper trimmer, my regular Fiskars paper trimmer to cut, to slice those little edges off. So do you just turn it around and cut the little edges. Now, my idea is to use these two super fun frames over here and to create three little clusters of florals over there. Okay, so I have them here ready to go. And let's look at this. Maybe I will have, I totally forgot and I wanted to tuck some of this down here, but maybe I will have to slice it a little. Okay, but we will have one there, one floral there, same thing here. I want to tuck that one a little more, and you can have it on the top. So you can have that one there, that one here, and this one here. Okay, 
I also want to use, I love this little <sighs> paint brushes. <laughs> Sorry, the word totally escaped me. I love this paint brushes. You can find them on the sticker book. And I have another layout that's almost ready that I use a bunch of them. So they come here. I just adhere all of them to a little, to a little cardstock that I had to white cardstock and I cut them. I just back them with a with cardstock. So I want to have one here that says this and that. Another one here that says true story. And this one here that says status update. Hmm. You have so many beautiful little ephemeras here that you can just go to town looking through the ephemera packs, through the sticker books or, or this chipboard stickers. Okay. I just want to put things that I love. I want to put cameras. I want to put coffee, paint brushes and all the things that I love because this is an all about me page and it has a super, super fun title okay I just had to do it I just had to do it friends so I found on the sticker on the phone stickers I found this it's me hi and you know what comes next right it's me hi I'm the problem it's me <laughs> so I will be using all this little stickers from the sticker book you can use whatever other letter stickers you have on hand. Simple Story has, has amazing letter stickers, so you can just complete your phrase there. But I just had to do it. We are huge Swifty fans here. We are huge Taylor Swift fans. We are Swifties. So this was the perfect opportunity. I couldn't pass it. And my girls are so excited for this layout. Okay, so it's going to say, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. That will be my title. And I'm going to talk about how obsessed I am with pattern paper, stickers. I made this, all this scrapbooking and arts and craft, my, my work. Okay, I made, made it my, my job. And I've had my store. If you don't know, I have an arts and craft store here in Bolivia. And it's called Paper Cloud in Spanish. And I had it for 11 years now. So yes, I'm obsessed with with paintbrushes, with beautiful paper stickers, and I just want that story here. So now that I've told you the story of my title and my layout, let's start adhering this. Oh, I've gone ahead and added a little vellum piece, regular vellum, to the back. That way, you know, you can't see the lines. And maybe we can add something. I could tuck something there. Okay, so let's start hearing this. We want this one a little more in the middle. So let, let's leave this here. That way we can have everything. Yeah. I like adhere, having everything, all the layout pre, pre done. I don't know if that's a word, but I want to add my title. Oh, I have this little florals. Some florals to put one here and one here like it brings just a little detail right and now let's start arranging I had it arranged in some moment but everything got mixed up so let me arrange it and I'll be back I have my little subtitle here and now I want to arrange that I'm the problem, it's me. So let me know if you get this song stuck in your head now. Because as soon as I started this, this layout, it's like I'm singing in my head all the time. It's me. Hi. Yeah. I'm the problem. So 
So let me know if you or your daughters are Taylor Swift fans. I'm sure many of you are. Okay, so it's me. That's going to be... We can add maybe a little something here. I was also thinking maybe of bringing this one here, but I think it's too much. I just... I will add that. I was thinking maybe I have a, a me, a different font here. But it's my story. No, there's no me, I think. So maybe... I know we can have like a little something there. You can see how that looks at the end. So I want to like... I like that how that looks like coming this side. I know it's like a very bold layout, but I just love, I love the title. I love, I love that it represents us right now. It represents me. We listen to Taylor Swift every day, all the time. We make friendship bracelets with the title of the song. So it's something that one day will represent, you know, what, what we were living. It's going to be nice to remember it. Okay, so now I think we can start adhering. I want to change some of this. I don't want, like, I want to bring different textures. So this is the time to check out all the good things we have here. We can use our chipboard. We can use our layered chipboards. Let me take it out of my little ring here. Guys, don't forget to press that like button if you're enjoying this this videos that little thumbs up really helps us a lot so other people can find us creators and find this awesome hobby so please press it if you're enjoying it and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the videos that are, that are coming okay and now we can working on our layout. I love the little like frappuccino cup there. Oh. This little tag here comes from the journaling ephemera pack and this one I cut from the pattern paper so I was thinking I could add my journaling. It's gonna be something short and sweet okay like I love I have a problem I love pattern paper I love stickers and I'm Proud of that and I'm happy because it brings me so much joy right so we can have a little cup maybe somewhere here I don't know I don't want to cover all my my journaling space so I can bring it maybe a little here and I can have my cup and I can bring I had this this one here so maybe we can tuck the crayons and have this one just play around with the collection that you're using, and you're using this one or another one. Okay. I had a little camera up there because I love taking photos, and I wear glasses as well sometimes. <laughs> so, what else we have here? These are too big. Yeah. Oh, we have the sticker sheet. Sometimes I forget about that one. So here we have we have some a smaller crayon. You can use that. Okay, friends, this is what I've come up with. Okay, I have my little journal there. I love your journals. I collect them, I hoard them, and I love them. So there's my little journaling journal. There's my watercolors. I was thinking of maybe looking for for a very small paintbrush. But I think that's too big. Right? Let's try it. Yeah, it's too big. Like, if I find something smaller, maybe we can add it there. And I've added my camera here. Just like coming out of there and my little camera roll. I can't remember the name, but I'm sure many of you remember that those days. I have my frappuccino, my crayons. And my little journaling spot. Okay, so I'm loving that. I know it's a very bold 
layout, but I love it. And this is a bold collection, so this is the perfect opportunity to use it like that. We could also have some little brads in the middle. We can play around with, with all that. Okay, so let's start adhering. I think I like how everybody, everything is looking. And let's start adhering. Oh. There, it's me. Hi. Oh my god, I love this. I love this title. <laughs> I was wondering if Kelly, if you know the designer of this collection was Kelly Banks. And I was wondering if she had this song in mind when she was creating this. Or maybe it's just me <laughs> that has a problem with the Taylor Swift as well. <laughs> oh my god. And the problem, it's me. Yeah. We have to adhere that one. It's not going to be that easy. But it's going to be worth it. I want it to be in the middle. So that's going to make it a little harder. We'll see if that's a placement. So we have that adhered. We have this adhered. Now we need to adhere our little clusters here. And we will... I'm a little scared of the title, so let's leave that until later. Okay, okay you know that I want to just pop this up with some foam adhesive. I think everything looks a little better with foam. So let's try it. There. And so let me know in the comments if you have this collection, if you're tempted to get it. You know, whenever I get a collection, I I look at it, I take out all the little ephemera pieces and just look at it, smell it. And I come up with all the layout ideas that I can. And I write them down and I have a bunch, like so many photos that could go with this collection. It, I just put it in, I use my little notebooks and just write everything there. I tear the little paper out and put it inside my my collection and that way whenever I have the time to work with it, I'm ready. I have the stories ready. So I love doing that. And I also do that on the school pickup line. You know, it's a good way to distract myself for the 30 minutes that I have to wait. Okay, so we, ha we have that, this and that, and we'll adhere everything. Okay, friends, with the magic of YouTube, my layout is now, has everything adhered. As you can see, there is a lot of dimension. I've used lots of foam adhesive to add my, all my little florals and elements. For my letters, for my title, I also used little pieces of foam adhesive, and that's it. Now, I love ending my layout with some confetti. That's how I call this little pieces that add shine, add a different, like, texture to your layout. So, this is a perfect time to get out your enamel dots, your deco brats, and see how we can add that different finish to our layout. I love that we can add maybe a little bread up here, a smaller one in the middle here, in the middle here. We can bring one over here. Now just play with all this beautiful, with all the beautiful products you have in hand. See if you like it, see if you like that shine, adding that shine. I really like how it looks and what it adds. So, I was also thinking that maybe we could bring a little brush up here. I can't, it's too big or we can tuck it. It's just too big. I really wanted to add it somewhere. But, you know, it has a little high, it's me, so it's 
it just won't work down here. That's my title. But that's it, friends. That's my layout. I hope you've liked it. It was so fun to create it. I love coming up with this title and make it a very playful, bold. It's just such a fun collection to do that. So if you have this collection, give it a try. I would love to see what you create or if you live, leave me a message. I love reading your comments. So thank you very much for watching and being here. I appreciate it very much. Until the next time, bye-bye. This was Gloria Parra for Simple Stories. <laughs>